Okay, like I said in my last video, I was I, I said I was going to do a video on what would happen in San Antonio. I just got word that there was some kind of a jewelry robbery shooting at a uh, something, whatever the name of the mall was, something Oaks Mall in San Antonio, Texas. Now this mall does not not appear to be a gun-free zone because uh, there was a guy with a concealed carry license in Texas. I'm not sure what they call it in Texas. I almost moved to San Antonio back in like 2007, but things happened and I went back over the road. So anyway, from the information I got, two men went into a jewelry store, robbed the place. From one, from one scenario or one story I got, they came out, a good Samaritan, unarmed, tried to stop them. The one robber shot him dead. Uh, good Samar another good Samaritan with a concealed carry permit shot one of the robbers and one of the robbers is loose somewhere and uh, one I think the one that got shot is in custody another story I heard it, that, that it was actually one of the robbers that got shot and killed I don't know who got shot and killed if it was a good Samaritan or if it was one of the robbers I mean I hope it was one of the robbers but I don't, I don't wish death on anybody being a Christian guy that I am. But anyway, I'm getting two different things, stories of what really happened. We do know a jewelry store was robbed in San Antonio, Texas. Now, this mall was not a gun-free zone. Now, I'm not going to say that people don't die in non-gun-free zones. I'm not going to say that. Things do happen. Things, you know, people, things do fall through the cracks. Things, bad things do happen. But it reduces the chances. So I don't know who got shot and killed. If it was a good Samaritan or the armed robber. But I do know a concealed carry permit, blah, 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 blah. Concealed, carry, concealed carry permit holder stopped one of the robbers. So and I applaud him. Now I didn't go under the gun sense hashtag yet on Twitter. To see what kind of dumbass shit liberals are going to say. God only knows. I'm going to go on Twitter. I'm going to debate about it and try to wake the fuck up some people. But this was not a gun-free zone. Not all malls are. One suspect is caught. Maybe dead. I'm not exactly sure. So this was in San Antonio, Texas, which is predominantly a gun rights state. I call it gun rights state because uh, they're not like New York, California, where they don't recognize the Second Amendment. Maryland, Illinois, list goes on. Anything up in the Northeast, pretty much, except, you know, Vermont, New Hampshire. But anyway, in Maine, usually it's just, it's just, up in the Northeast, it's just Connecticut, Mass, and New York that doesn't, and Rhode Island. I'm not exactly sure about Rhode Island. They're kind of split. But anyway. Yeah, they don't respect the Second Amendment. Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York. Whatever. But anyway. You don't hear about mass shootings or whatever in tech. Well, you had the Fort Hood situation because that was a gun-free zone. <laughs> but I'm saying it doesn't really happen a lot in, you know, red conservative states. I mean, in my one of my home, my other home state, Arizona, we had that incident in 2011 with the the crazy at the Safeway who shot six people dead, including a nine-year-old girl and a uh, he shot that one senator who's now like retarded and I'm sorry, not trying to make fun of her or anything, but she's got some brain problems and she had to relearn how to talk and she's got all kind of fucked up problems. And that, and he assassinated a federal judge too, that Gerald Lawfer, whatever his name, that crazy ass in Tucson. But anyway, that's what happened. So, San Antonio, Texas. This shit needs to stop, man. Everybody, go out and get your concealed carry. And fight back. Now that Donald Trump is president of the United States, 
I'm expecting him to fix the Chicago shit. 760 murders last year in Chicago. That's worse than what happened. That, that's worse than Juarez, Mexico. Chicago is the most dangerous city now in North America. If not the world. So. I'm just glad that, you know, really bad things didn't happen inside this mall. And that proves what happens when we have concealed carry permit holders out there. We could stop crime. What's wrong with vigilante justice? There's nothing wrong with it. What's wrong with street justice? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying be careful. Don't do anything stupid to put innocent people in harm's way. So, with that being said, Super Bowl 51 is upon us. And uh, Atlanta Falcons are going to kick the fucking shit out of the New England Patriots. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I've been drinking tonight. <laughs> I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I've been drinking tonight. I, I'm like out of it. Anyway. Tomorrow I might be test driving a 2016 Dodge Charger. Yeah, time to get myself a new beast car. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm so fucking hungover and fucking... I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm blabbing. Whatever.